Questions from council? Seeing none, we go to the public. If there's anyone here from the public who wishes to speak, please take the podium, sign in, and state your name, please. Uh, hi, I'm Greg Alexander. I can answer that question. Uh, the county has an urbanizing area plan that covers um, most especially the part of the TIF district that the city annexed. And it says that um, the roads there should be 10 feet wide to slow down traffic, and it also says there should be sidewalks, and it says there should be connectivity, that there should be you know, a road between Curry and the highway. And so it exactly supports this project, because it has, um, it's a year ago that I saw the design contract for it, but it had a five foot sidewalk on one side, a 10 foot sidewalk on the other side, and a severely substandard bike lane in addition. Um, but I have a lot of concerns about that design, but it is, miles ahead of the city end of Gates Drive. Um, the city end of Gates Drive, I can't even express to you how badly it was engineered, but the simple fact of the matter is it has sidewalks over almost all of it. But at the very end of it, where it meets Third Street, or Highway 48, or whatever you call it out there, um, because of I-69, they installed sidewalks along Third Street, but those sidewalks don't connect to the sidewalks on gates. It takes about, it'll take about 200 feet of sidewalk on each side of the street to connect. And then there's just up gates a little bit on one side, there's a sidewalk gap, just a regular sidewalk gap, 500 feet. Really easy to do, just dig a ditch, fill it with gravel. Um, and then put a concrete pad on it. But um, on the side of the street where Jacob's Drive is, that's the, it's like a curving street that goes into like Wendy's and White Castle and Michael's and all that crap. Um, it's got a really challenging intersection for pedestrians. I can see why they didn't put sidewalks when they built that intersection. That, that intersection is actually really bad for drivers as well. It's basically, it's, it's, it's optimized for really big trucks and that's the only thing it's good at. It's actually really bad for somebody trying to make like a left turn coming out of there. Um, but it is impossible for pedestrians and it has um, no sidewalks at the intersection itself. No marked crosswalk where there's a, a island, like a pork chop, I've heard it called, like a little island. Uh, there's no sidewalks on that either. And if you want to do a good job on that, you're really going to have to reconfigure that intersection. And so that becomes like a half million or a million dollar project. And if you don't want to do a good job, just put the 100 feet of missing sidewalk. Paint a, a crosswalk and call it done. I, you know, when the county has a plan and they, they build a sidewalk, the city should have a sidewalk network for them to connect to. And we don't have a sidewalk network. If you get even a mile from the courthouse, every single sidewalk is three quarters gap, with the single exception of West Third Street. That's a huge irony. And this isn't staff's fault. This is, you guys haven't put the money towards it. The sidewalk commission's budget is, is a joke. So um, now it seems kind of ridiculous to say that we need sidewalks in such an unwalkable location. It really does everything it can to discourage walking. So this, I apologize for the subject matter, but this is straight from the newspaper. This was about a year ago. Uh, police say a man was masturbating in car, 100 block of North Gates Drive, yada, yada. Um, the officer noted the high pedestrian traffic in the area. So when it comes, you know, the officer standing there looking around, who has seen this public indecency? He sees pedestrians walking in the street there. And he knows there's pedestrian traffic there. It is a walkable area because Highland Village is right there. You know, there's lots of housing right there. Stone Chase is even walking distance to this location. It's like a mile. It's nothing to walk, except that every piece of that experience is going to be miserable. And there's no sidewalks. People are walking in the street. Thank you. Thank you. Any additional public comment with respect to this project? All right, back to council. 